In Freedom Park in Cape Town, South Africa, on a recent rescue mission, we were warned by police to leave because our lives were in danger from gangsters. The police have set up to combat the violence and we're here to help the hundreds of animals that are being affected by this violence. Freedom Park is a crime-ridden slum where gang-related drive-by killings are commonplace. Not even risking our lives will deter us from helping these poor dogs who are sick, hungry and routinely abused. This is when we found Master, a beautiful pit bull with the softest eyes. He was badly neglected and very sick. This was anorexia. He is anorexic. We wanted to take him with us, but his owner didn't trust us and refused to let us leave with him. We knew we needed to return to plead with the owner again as soon as possible. To our great sadness, we were too late. We, we, we were worried that the dog is sick. Yeah. yeah. Listen here, the truth is the truth. Nothing but the truth. He died. He died? He died. You know, in so many, of, so many cases like this, we've, we've come back to rescue the dog and the dog, we find out the dog has died. So it's always a very sad day when we lose a good animal. We were heartbroken, but this is the reality of our work here and why it is so important that we keep coming here in spite of the danger. We were inundated with people asking for dog food and care for pets. They brought scrawny puppies, led old sick dogs to us for help and pleaded with us to give them dog food. Then we found a starving pit bull called Passion. She was living in the mud, cold and wet, with open sores on her body. Passion was so scared she urinated in fear when we approached. We couldn't leave her there, so we persuaded her owner to let us take her. She will join hundreds of others at the Fallen Angel Shelter, where she will be loved and nursed back to health. There is a deep underlying problem that desperately needs attention in this area and the Network for Animals team is committed to providing it. Education is the key to crushing the abuse of animals. We want to start a vitally important education program to help people understand that just like you and me, dogs feel fear and they feel pain and that man has no right to cause them to suffer just because he has the capacity to do so. If you possibly can, donate today and help us make a difference for these animals.